Mark had uh, any rec. Do we have any recommendations for alternatives to Pier Street? They, they they basically didn't close his loan 20 minutes before he was supposed to close. And, and I think to, to clarify and, that that's a long term loan. Right. That was that was a long term. And, and loan. that's yeah. what I was going to uh, mention. We have almost every lender out there that has uh, institutional capital behind them or put a complete pause on any long-term rental loans because they aren't sure about valuations going forward. Yeah. And, and the secondary and, market was frozen when they made that decision. Yeah. yeah. And, and they, they sell those things off too. And mm -hmm. they, they're, they're in a position right now where there's too much unknown. Uh, that's going to be temporary till they, figure out how, how valuations are going to go and then they'll, they'll start lending again. And that gets back to us and our portfolio. So we're a private lender. We're working through a few deals that were already in the pipeline. We're going to, we're, we're not stopping those in the middle of closing. We're mm -hmm. going to finish those out, but we're putting a pause on the, uh, every, everything else coming in. We're, we want to see how the valuations are going as well. Yeah. I haven't, fortunately we're in an area, in the Southeast where things haven't been completely closed down. Construction is still allowed to go on. The, the largest County in our area is Mecklenburg County. That's the County that Charlotte is in. They have a mandatory, you know, hunker down at home order, but construction was an industry that they felt was vital and you're allowed to go to work. Yeah. However, the County government is, you know, kind of shut down and they're not going out and doing inspections. <laughs> so you can only do so much construction work before you have to move to the next phase and you have to have it inspected before you can move to the next phase. Yeah. So I don't know how that's going to, going to play into yeah. that. And, and I saw Mark, your, your comment about totally sh with short term and, and five years fine. The, the issue is, is still the valuations. It's the, it's the LTVs. It's the unknown right now for them. So, you know, if you're looking for 70, 80% loan to value right now on current valuations, I think most people are kind of out of that right now. And, and everyone's kind of sticking to 50 to 60 and, and lower for sure. Right. And that's if they're even lending at that LTV. Yeah. So, and, and it's everybody, every, everyone in that industry is on pause right now mm -hmm. so they can get a better handle on the valuations. Yeah. Uh, Bill, I'll just second that. It's exactly the conversation. Secondary markets are completely frozen and mm -hmm. major players in the industry turned off, especially Wall Street backed. The portfolio lenders are doing exactly that. They're tightening up underwriting. So mm -hmm. you may still get a file here and there. We, we are still doing a few final loans with the old relationships, top clients. I actually had conversation with a couple of top guys who do 20, 30 fix and flips per month. and some are operating just fine if they haven't been shut down or the real estate is considered to be essential in their state and some are closed. So the ones that are closed asking for a discount, deferral of interest, and we'll work with them. And those who are operating and are able to get deals, they're getting deals actually at a better price. They're retrading, their offers coming back, lowering them, and they are trying to do the work. But the focus is on the most affordable range. That's the only range we're looking at. Uh, turnkey range, sort of as affordable as it gets in the cities that don't fluctuate much in value. And I believe that there's going to be some level of continuous uh, construction in, the, in some cities and some will be completely turned off. Like we had a conversation with a gentleman from Philly, they're off. The quad cities uh, are on uh, and then in the pockets here and there. But all major players are... They, they, they disconnected for the next couple of months, most likely, until things stabilize. Just, I hate to say this, but if you will have a loan request, just be patient. There's not much you can do. You could send a lot of emails, a lot of requests. 90% of players are going to be turned off at this point of time. You know, it's funny. I saw that the governor of Idaho put a shelter in place order too, and they're one of the least populous <laughs> states out there. So. I know they have pockets of population, but yeah. even the ones that don't have a lot of population are, are, are starting to do this.